I'm Eric Harbling. I'm an artist that lives in Hawaii, and I cannot believe what I'm about to do. When I was younger, playing in bands, the dream was always to go on tour, but we never really made it happen. Now, I'm obsessed with painting murals. I apply to every festival, event, organization, or anything I find about that involves murals. I apply to so many, and most I hear pretty much nothing, but this year so far, I've gotten invited to three. Since I live in Hawaii now, I want to make every trip as effective as possible. Looking at the dates, I started thinking, there's some time between these events, and this is the first mural trip I'd be doing without a full-time job anymore. How far can this trip go? After painting so aggressively the past few years, I've made friends and connections all over the country through my art. So I reached out everywhere possible. Family, other artists, friends, organizations. More projects started getting confirmed, and before I realized it, I booked a full tour. Staying true to that initial dream, I had to pretend like I'm a band on tour, calling it the Out of Office Mural Tour. We even made a full set of tour merch, posters, t-shirts, everything. Only a few of the dates are going to be commissioned, I don't have sponsors, so a lot of this is going to be self-funded, just building a dream so anything helps. It's going to be tough to leave this place, but I can't wait. made it to Chicago the flights were super easy I slept pretty much the whole time but but still was kind of slow and just getting my stuff together yesterday I'm feeling a lot more comfortable I'm glad I didn't put the expectation on myself to get started immediately so getting to the spot now I'm right in the center which is just like such a dream that I'm next to gonna be next to a bunch of friends again it's gonna be such a cool event and location I'm gonna start buffing my wall now hopefully can beat this little bit of shadow really excited to be here really excited to get this all started and yeah I just got to get going Getting to start this tour in Chicago is really incredible to me. This is where my dad grew up until he was nine, and then I still have a lot of family here on both sides of the family now. I also used to come here a fair amount for work because one of our offices was in Chicago, so I have a lot of friends, family, and know a ton of artists that are from here because there's such a rich history of art in the city, and it's an honor to get to be a part and add to it. So it was getting way, way too hot earlier. I needed to take a break, and kind of when I was Thinking about stopping, the roller handle that I had totally broke and wasn't working, so it's a good sign it was time to stop. And apparently in Chicago, it's illegal to sell spray paint like anywhere in the city proper. So I went and picked up the spray paint that I need. It's a good, nice little drive. But now I'm back and I think this is actually gonna work out to my advantage that I didn't finish buffing this. And I can just use the half finished buff as like the doodle grid in the background and just use that to overlay the sketch on. Should have enough light. Uh, I'd like to get the sketch done tonight so then I can kind of just be cruising tomorrow and, and get into the colors. If I'm not able to do it, it's all good too. I need to not force myself to get to a certain point. I took a picture of the whole wall as it currently was to use that as a reference, kind of reworked it a little bit. And then I sent that picture of the sketch to my phone. So I'm looking at it as I go and I can use the different references of where I stopped buffing as where lines need to go. And then kind of count the bricks from there. This texture was pretty tough to work with, but I watered down the buff paint as I was going and it ended up being a perfect amount and just enough in the end. Really proud about the way I buffed this because I did something I've never done before of keeping like a clean graphic container on the end. I think it came out really nice and I'm excited about it. At first was thinking about going all the way to the end of the wall, but there's a bunch of like mailboxes and stuff I don't want to mess with covering up. So I'm kind of way more happy with this. I think I got a clean curve to it too because clean lines are not something I'm ever really good at. So I'm gonna take a break now. It looks like it's starting to rain. Probably work on sketches for some of the next tour dates. Hopefully it doesn't rain too long and I can start with the colors. This piece is one figure with consistent coloring throughout. I figured the best way to do it is just attack the whole wall at once, especially while I still have the lift. I do this by starting out with that pink that's gonna be the main color throughout, and I use this to define the section and build it up with the brush strokes as I go. It's a little meticulous to stay with the sketch, but I get to have a lot of fun just letting the brushes fly and get lost in it. After that, I keep adding more and more colors to it within that structure, and as that goes, it builds more and more volume and it gets better with every single color. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever been to Chicago during the summertime because it is so beautiful here and I could not stop painting until the sunset. I was just having too much fun. All right, so 
we all went to this bar afterwards and they had some kind of canvases and paint set up in the back. We were all avoiding it at first, but everyone's getting in there. Is this all you? No, this is Kito and Jasmina. Oh, wow. Actually, that's looking kind of cool now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It looks like a cat Started for day three. Really happy with where it's at. Gonna finish up the legs and get the rest of the body in there as fast as I can because I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the lift the whole time. But I got plenty of ground stuff to do after that, so it's kind of sectioned out that I won't feel stuck or anything. And gonna get in there and get started. I have to make the best use I can with the time I have with the lift since it's not fully mine. Because I got added to this kind of at the last minute, when I saw the dates were announced, I reached out because it was kind of perfect timing with the tour as I was lining it up. Had a bit of a relationship with the Muros team from talking a few times, so I kind of had an open door and just had to go for it. Couldn't be happier that this is the start of the tour, even if I don't get to use this lift the full time. It doesn't really matter to me. It's all going to work out just fine. And this is the perfect image to start with since I feel like I'm taking flight and spreading my wings as big as I possibly can on this tour. too hot to keep going definitely feeling it and like feeling the scaffolding rock not feeling uh, feeling as good as I know I should be while I'm painting so I'm gonna go take a big break watch what everyone else has been up to really excited to be painting with so many monsters at this thing it's so cool but should not keep painting my neighbors painting were artists that I hadn't met before but became super fast friends first was George F Baker the third from Atlanta whose bright uplifting work I've been a fan of for a while and his personality is that times a thousand also, Cam that was helping him out was an amazing artist in his own right. Next to him was Jansen, who goes by Sarah Street Art. Also so much fun. His work is incredible. Such crazy compositions and colors. Around the corner, Wing Chow and Suburban Warrior getting started with their amazing collaboration. Both their styles are so cool. I was excited to see them both come to life together. I'd never met Diosa before, but her work is just unreal. I'm so glad to have met her. Kilimari I met years ago, it was great to see him, and same with Tarbox from Houston. And it was a treat to get to see Chicago legend Mac Blackout paint this huge wall. Big shout outs and thank you to Mateo, Trish, Dave, and the whole Muros team. This is so, so much fun. And a major thank you to Altitude Trampoline Park for letting me have fun and go wild on the front of your building. So I stayed out here probably way too late last night. Whenever I have like a certain stopping point in mind, if I don't get to it, I like just can't stop. Probably should get better at that. But I'm happy that I did in the end, even if I'm a little slower today, because now I don't have to do any more brushwork, don't have to worry about the lift, parts at the top, and now I can just kind of shade it with spray paint. But of course, just being all over the place, getting everything together and packing, I forgot my respirator, so one more, one more errand trip. Adding the spray paint highlights does so much for the structure, even if I'm hiding behind it a little bit when things get lost in all the strokes. Kind of hold the can sideways and go really fast so it adds it transparently and doesn't blow out any of the brushwork underneath. Since this goes pretty quickly, it was a perfect day for my family in the area to come by and hang out and take a break after this. Into the last step that's by far my favorite is just adding that shadow on the bottom and really pop it off the wall. Should be able to finish it up tonight so that tomorrow during the event I don't have to worry about this wall at all because everything has been so well done, so well organized and that's probably nothing compared to way more stuff that's going to happen tomorrow. So. Today is the day of the event. It's 
gonna be so much fun. Everything's getting set up now and it's clear that this is only gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm done with my piece, but I'm gonna be doing something else during it. I'm painting a small wall that they put moleskins all over it. Uh, once those are done, they're gonna be either given away or auctioned off for the charity. Put that in another video. So I'm so excited feeling this all come to life after spending all this time and now take it easy since I'm done with that and actually see how it comes to life when the community comes out and sees it. It's already set the bar so high for the rest of the tour, it's gonna be tough to top it. Got to see so much family, uh, Uncle Bruce, Aunt Jill, and Cousin Max, Cousins David, Lois, Maureen, Ken, Rachel. So <laughs> great to see everybody. Other coworker Max that came by in the area. Such a crazy way to start this, and huge thanks to the Muros team, Mateo, Trish, Dave, everybody else that was involved. And a major thank you to Altitude Trampoline Park for letting me have fun and go wild on the front of your building. This was so, so much fun, and I will see everyone soon.